Hello, my name is Josephine, and this is what an activist looks like. Pretty much I began it with the thought that I would be entering into the Common Ground Fair, which is how I pretty much got it going. I had some older friends that had booths in the Youth Enterprise Zone, and they seemed to be, you know, making pretty well of themselves, and I thought, well, why couldn't I do the same thing? And so... I think that was when I really decided that's what I wanted to do and I wanted to pursue it. In my school in fifth grade, um, we did a simulation where um, each of us had a choice to um, be a retailer to sell to the rest of the class to sort of learn about business and that sort of thing. And so it began that way and we just used like pennies and things like that for pay for everything. I started making jewelry then, which I was only doing wire jewelry at that point. A lot of people bought for me, and so then after that, as we went through it, I began thinking of using other things for jewelry that I could sell to the rest of the class. And I guess I thought sort of the step was thinking of it to a larger scale. Um, and something I could maybe do for a living or something like that, since it seemed to work in the small scale that I had. When the first time I was in a booth, I had my friend who was helping her booth next to me, because we were sure sharing a table. Mm -hmm. And so we pretty much helped each other out most of the time there. And, you know, if she needed to borrow a few ones, I'd give her some from our cash box. Um... And there was sort of like a trade-off there, so it wasn't so much of um, her being employed. But this year, the second year I've done it, one of my friends came on Friday, and she skipped school, to um, help me. And so together we pretty much ran the booth, because it's good to have another person if you need to go or leave it for some reason. And so we pretty much spent the day there in the booth and she helped me out and then at the end of the day um, I paid her some of my um, profit. Yeah. She worked and she helped a lot so she deserved it. And I hope to be able to donate to other places too in the future. Um, like uh, our local animal shelter is a pretty small place but another sort of small business that started that's trying to make its way so from one small business to another I guess one of the important things is not to let other things push you down like the whole thing girls rock and hearty girls healthy women is about is how you know girls in general and young people are sometimes pushed down by people around them who might think that they know better. You can't really start anything that you don't really, I guess you don't really like and what you don't sort of want with your whole, your whole heart and everything that you'd like to do. And you have to think about sort of the end result. Um, but it's also about the journey of how you get there, not just what comes in the end. So, um, but I had a lot of fun just myself and with my friends when I was making everything, and that's really a big part of it. So, it's sort of hard to look at the big picture when you're doing something like this, which seems really small at the time, but you just sort of have to keep going and think about it and everything that you're doing. Girls rock!